Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today is going to be part uh, four of my uh, thrifting adventure. Um, I'm actually all dressed up. Um, my brother got married today and uh, the reception is in about an hour. So I figured I had an hour to kill, why not do a haul? So without further ado, I will do an overview of everything in this haul and then I will go through everything one by one for you. Be right back. Okay, everyone. So here is an overview of all the goodies that I got at my uh, thrifting adventure. This is at the church um, rummage sale. Um, you can see in there. I can't wait. I got to take this out and show you guys because it's like really cool. Um, so, yep, got a couple Christmas things, some gorgeous chinaware, blue and white, fairy lamps, Fenton, Corningware, Cara or not Cara uh, Pyrex, yeah. Got lots and lots of goodies. So, I shall be right back. All right, everyone. Let's get right into this haul. Um, I think I'll uh, do all my little uh, tchotchkes first that I picked up. Um, I got this really pretty um, Easter egg, egg, whatever you want to call it. The lid comes off. Little trinket box. And um, it was made in China. I don't know how old it is. I just thought it was really pretty. Give you guys a look at that. It's got a kind of a like luster wear finish. Um, whoever this woman was that was selling all of her really, um, really good Fenton and whatnot, um, she actually even wrote on the tags who the makers were of the um, items. So she had these two beautiful Rosenthal, as you could see on the tickets, uh, china plates. They're absolutely gorgeous. And you can see on the back. Hopefully it focuses for you. So, I mean, uh, just a reminder, everything from the last haul and this haul, and there's going to be one more haul. So, out of these three hauls, cost me like $150. So, um, I really, really got a lot of things. And things that are worth really good money, too. Um, got this little, little, uh, old fashioned vase. Let's see in the back. Um, it's not marked or anything. So I'm really not sure, uh, where it was made. Uh, probably Japan. Then I got this little, little boy statue. Uh, this is Growing Up Boys, 1983 Anesco. And um, Anesco usually are the makers of like the precious moments. Not a big fan of clowns, okay? Let me just put that out there. They scare me. But I got this one. And this is Norcrest. And I got this little guy playing the violin. <laughs> He's really cute. And he was made in occupied Japan. Is that upside down? Of course it is. <laughs> uh, 
All right, so that's it for the little tchotchkes. I did the plates, I did the egg. Uh, and of course, you know me and my milk glass. I got this really cute um, dish with a cat hair in it. Lovely. Shaped like a pear and it has uh, fruit on the inside. And it's got real pretty flowers on the back. And actually, let me step out of here for a second. I actually found one of them that goes with the set a while back. Um, either, I think it was probably at the Salvation Army. So this one I use for a spoon rest. I got this really pretty piece. Um, this is Gonger, Gonger Pottery, Gonder, Gonder Pottery, I'm sorry. It's numbered and it's um, a man with a sombrero it looks like or else he's Asian and he's wearing one of those straw hats and it's actually a planter. Very pretty piece. Then I got this set of uh, plates for a quarter a piece. There's that one. This one with the pineapple. And this one has pears. Got a piece, a, a piece of pink depression glass, a saucer. Got this set of uh, plates with uh, lilies. There's three of them in the set. Those were also a quarter a piece. Got this beautiful little kids Raggedy Ann and Andy set. I just love it. There's Andy on the other side. And it says, uh, copyright 1941. And the maker, it's, it's hard to see it, by Crooksville. So I'm going to have to look this up. I haven't had a chance to look it up yet. I actually, this stuff has been, all been in the boxes, so I, you know, haven't gotten around to looking up any of this stuff. Let's keep in the front here. I got this beautiful piece, piece of white and blue uh, china. This was made in, actually made in China. I just love like the white and blue. I think it's so pretty. Uh, then I got this piece of olive green. That's probably um, the Georgian Colonial, I think it's called. Little dish. This is beautiful. Look at this bowl. This was made in Germany. Let me show you it up close. Gorgeous. You can see on the bottom there, Germany, and it's numbered. Just gorgeous. And then I got this. It looks like a pretty old piece of pottery. I'm assuming it's for a plant because down here it has the little holes for the water to come out and it has the underplate and it says nothing on the bottom so I have no idea who made it. Back over here I got this really cool item. 
I love the colors in this. It's so pretty. And it's actually for a candle. Love it. And this just has a number on the back and must be the person maybe that painted it. So again, don't know who made that. Then I got these two pieces of Fire King. And I think this, I forgot the name of this pattern. Um, it's on the tip of my tongue and I just can't, <laughs> just can't think of it right now. Um, but I got them each for a dollar a piece. And they're in like excellent shape. And then I got this, let me set these down. Beautiful cheesecake pan. Um, this is uh, from Jeanette, Royal China Jeanette. Here's the, on the back. Yeah, and it gives you the recipe and everything. Love it, I'm probably gonna keep this. got back here these two um, boopy I guess they call them candle holders very pretty they're a decent size and I just thought this was so cute I had to get it a piggy bank he's really cute <laughs> His little tail. He's got his stopper in the bottom. Okay, so then I picked up this huge Pyrex. To me, it looks like it's a lid for a large um, Pyrex casserole dish, which is highly possible. Or maybe it is the actual casserole dish. I don't know but I only paid a dollar for it, so I'm sure I'll figure it out. Then I got not one, but two Corningware Blue Corn Flour casseroles. This one has the lid, this one doesn't. And I paid a dollar for this one and two dollars for this one. Then I thought this was so pretty. What did I pay for that? A dollar. And it wasn't even a dollar because they just charged me one price for like everything I got, no matter what the stuff was marked. So. Uh, this was made, I don't know, I need a magnifying glass because I'm blind. Then I got this cool little vase. I thought it was really neat. It has, look at the texture on there. It's just really, really cool. Don't know where it was made. Got this beautiful Fenton, gold um, amber Fenton vase. There was a price of $3 on it. Perfect condition. I got this Georgian Honey Amber Fairy Light. Again, perfect condition. Really pretty pattern on there. I should light it up and see what it looks like. Um, this is gorgeous. Look at that. 
It's like luster wear. Beautiful. It lights up, and I'm not sure what goes up here. Um, it's, it's from Yankee Candle, actually. So I'm going to have to plug it in and check it out. Then I got, excuse my high knee, this beautiful Christmas plate. And um, it's got just a couple little chips on the back, on the handle there, and over here. But you know what? It's going to be sitting up like this, whoops, like this, so nobody's even going to see them. Then I picked up uh, this little sign for my kitchen. Just a welcome sign with the rooster, you know, me and my roosters. And this really cool old wooden kitchen tool. Looks like it's for like a 500 pound tub of honey. Um, <laughs> but whatever, it's just for decoration. <laughs> then I picked up this really pretty um, butterfly tin. And this was made in England. It's really pretty. That was like a quarter. And I have to put this stuff over here. I'm ready to take out my light fixture. And the one last thing here is I got the set of um, Dr. Seuss books for my um, nephew. The Cat in the Hat, Fox and Socks, <laughs> Green Eggs and Ham, and One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish. And these were four for a dollar. And they're in excellent shape. So my last item is this very cool light fixture. Okay, like this. This is the shade. Goes like this. <laughs> this is pretty pretty sad looking. I should have put it together before, you know, the video, but do I think I had half the time? And it's got this really heavy, uh, it's like a weight on it. So I don't know. We're going to have to figure out what we're going to do with that. Nice photo bomb by my daughter. <laughs> well, that about does it for part, was it part four? Of my thrifting adventure, the church rummage sale. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and the bell so that YouTube will notify you whenever I upload a video. And I wanna say thank you everyone for watching. Now I'm off to a wedding reception to get my drink on. Woohoo! See you later. Oh, I just decided to show you guys how pretty this looks lit up. It is really beautiful. I am going to, let me shut this light off. There we go. Look at the pattern it puts out on the table. How pretty that is. I think I might have to keep this.